guys, it's Rake. Uh, I wanted to make a video showcasing you this hack I've been working on. I know everyone's waiting for part two of Solaire's uh, C++ hack in any game tutorial. Uh, Solaire's MIA right now. I'm going to be working on uh, part two this week. Uh, I've really been trying to hammer out this hack and finish it, and I'm finally done with it. So I'm going to release it on the website. want to make you a quick video showing it off. Um, you know, I started off just like everyone else uh, two years ago. I saw the fleet tutorials on YouTube, uh, came to Guided Hacking, uh, started making some posts. Uh, you know, this stuff isn't easy. I, w I want to just point out to everyone, if you want to come to the website and you really want to learn, you got to start small, you got to learn how to use Cheat Engine, you got to learn C++, and, and go from there. If you jump right in trying to make ESPs and aimbots, you're really putting yourself on a, at a disadvantage because you don't have the prerequisite knowledge in order to understand the tutorials and the information that's available out on the internet. So start small, uh, it ain't easy, and you really have to spend days, weeks, and months working on this stuff to get good. So, you know, I hope to see everyone on the website asking questions and, uh, and making releases, you know? So, let's get started with the hack. Uh, you might have seen this earlier on some of my videos. But uh, we'll start off. I do have an ESP, uh, and it does have health bars, and it displays the enemy's name on the screen, which is nice. I have a map hack. If you hold uh, Alt, you can see the map, and F4 will show you all the enemies. It works on team mode and deathmatch, whatever. Also, it works on the radar if you can see it in the top right hand corner. Uh, I have a scope hack. Basically, you know, regular sniper rifle, you've got this big scope. Uh, black screen and you can disable it by pressing F5, which is pretty cool. I really like this one um, You know, it's got like real-world applications uh, You know, this would be a huge advantage in a snipers only match or something like that um, Also a Fulbright hack basically this iterates through all the light map objects and it sets all the brightness to the maximum uh, You can enable it and disable it. I had to reverse these two functions for like three days before I figured it out uh, let's go to the second tab. I do have a fly hack. This is pretty cool, too. Um, fly around. The next one is a uh, teleport hack. I'm going to set my coordinates there. I'm going to run away, and then I'm going to teleport right back. Nothing too special. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the submachine gun so I can show you some of the other features, uh, particularly the aimbot. So... Uh, one thing I can show you, F10 is a telebot, basically it teleports in inside of the enemy and then it starts shooting. So basically you just teleport right into him and kill him. Uh, it's pretty rapidly as well, I like this one. The next thing I can show you, I'll just show you the aimbot here. Oops, I wrote that wrong. Again, you know, just calculating an angle from you to the enemy and uh, and finding the enemy position is really not enough to make a legit aimbot. Uh, I reverse engineer this trace line function that can detect whether whether this person is visible, and you know that took a lot of time. And then you know just writing a lot of if statements and getting the enemy's state and your state and trying to figure out you know is this a good time to shoot or not. And, you know, it, I think it works really good. So last thing I'm going to show you is um, this telefly hack I was working on. Unfortunately, like the fly hack, the teleporter, the telebot hack, and the telefly hack, these all work online, but you will, like, 75% of all the servers will kick you. And I was unable to find out how they detect it. Even with the Assault Cube source code, I couldn't figure it out. And it has something to do with um, the library they use, the SDL library, um, with the Enet library. The Enet library does like the communication over the network, and <clears throat> it flags you as having like a network error when you when you teleport like that. But anyway. Um, Teleflag hack is pretty cool. If you're in, first of all, the ESP in a CTF match, it's going to show the flags. If the enemy has captured your flag, it's going to display the flag on top of them, so you'll be able to locate it. 
Um, teleflag hack will basically you just hold F11 and they'll teleport to the enemy flag and back to your again. And it, it works really, really fast. If you get on a server that doesn't ban you for this, you win the match in like 30 seconds. Pretty funny. But the, there's more to it than just that. If the, let's say the enemy has captured your flag, um, it will teleport you to the enemy who's holding it and it will set the aimbot to target that person. And then once that person has died, it will then teleport you to the flag and then back to your flag. Um, so it's fully automated. If you go online, uh, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, that's that, those are all the features of the hack. Uh, I probably released the source code. Not yet. I'm still trying to tidy up a few things. Um, but I hope to see everyone on the website, and I hope you like the video. Thanks.